Hello friends, welcome to my Joomla 3.x module development series episode 4. In the previous episode, we have learned how to create helper file in your module and how to pass data from helper file to your template file. Now in this episode, we will learn about Joomla module parameter, which is very powerful things and whenever you will create module, definitely you will need this parameter things. So what is the parameter? So let's say if when we have created this hello module, right? Now, when we are creating that time, we provide some configurations to this module instances. Something like, um, this module assignment, this advanced things, these are configurations to the specific module instances. So when this module will appear, we can control the module functionality like this this is the title one so these two are same module hello module but these are two different instances so when we are create we have created this module we have provided this title so this title is appearing here now when we have created another instance we provided this title so this is appearing now what if we want some module configurations our own defined configurations so that when admin is creating they can provide additional information and based on those information we can do some certain things on the module and that way we can make our module more dynamic and more powerful so for example let's say we are building a contact us module so in the contact us module we will define like let's say three fields one is like uh, name your name your email and message and then submit button so now if we click submit so then our module don't know where to send this email we got the customer email id but still we don't receive the joomla administrator email id definitely we can use the email configuration from joomla but it would be better like if we provide some kind of configurations when they are creating the module that time they can provide email to so they can provide their own email address and the subject so when the module is created so when somebody will submit the form we can take those configurations to send these contact information data to the email so that way this module will be powerful now if administrator one one configurations for this module he can do that but other email id for other contact form in different page that is also possible you don't have to do any extra logic for that so for to define the module we have to use like parameter configurations so we have created this xml file long before and we have kept this config section blank so for module we will define like fields name params and then we can provide this basic block and this basic means all the configurations will appear here and if you want like you want some additional parameter block like menu assignment advance permissions we can create our own field set field set and inside that field set actually you will provide n number of parameters now joomla provides different standard parameter so this is the url or if you cite such like a standard form fields joomla so from here you can copy all the syntax different type of parameter so let's say you want to take some kind of password from the back end when somebody is configuring the menu so you will select the pass password now this is the syntax so what is the name type default value label and those things will be appear so now let's um, quickly uh, write couple of parameters in our module okay and let's see how these things appear and also we will accept those parameter and we will try to display on the front end so let me uh, open up so like we do these things let's copy these things and paste okay so we will change this one episode 4 
okay so first thing we will do like increase the version so this one let's say i can put like new version let's say zero okay now here you can see these things is empty so we understood we need to create a fields param fields so fields fields now this field is name is params okay now we will organize our different parameters so we will create a field set which is like a combination of field so all the fct and name is like basic Fill set okay so inside this we will um, take parameter so uh, let's take a parameter uh, from the uh, let's take this uh, password box or let's take some kind of drop down box would be good I'm John. Okay. So, and always use like this. Do not use this section. These are like for 1.5. So this one I have copied, and now I will place inside these things. What if like you need some kind of editor? Like what you see, what you get type of editor that is also available. So you have a uh, editor. Suppose here this is editor this is not this is a drop down list what type of editor you want so we will use this editor so that you can see uh, some what you see how do you get editor and that will be very helpful for a lot of developers now okay now once they provide this time zones and editor things now how do we access this parameter from our module file so pretty simple we have the syntax so here is the syntax so params by default joomla provide this variable and using this you can get the parameter name of the parameter and if the default value what if the user not provided this parameter so in that case you can use the default value like let's say your um, parameter name is my time zone now you can take my time params get my time zone and here you can define some kind of um, value default time zones let's say like asia slash kolkata something like that so what where we will do we will actually get params here so um we can define like dollar my time zone equal to dollar params get this one and here okay now you can pass this parameter to your helper file and also this is available to this file so let's say we are provide passing this parameter so that this helper file can do certain things based on this time zone and when you will create um module actually proper module let's say slider contact us form then this concept will be clear so just learn about how you can play with these things but definitely when we will create different type of module this concept will be clear so we have provided time zone so that's it needed for the module parameters so now what we will do we will actually uh, create a archive and install hopefully we have not made any kind of syntactical error you guys are watching 
so you might be able to see errors but until and unless i see the error i won't be able to see it so let's see so now let me close that extension manage install now let's install our new one okay so our extensions we have installed now if we go to the home page we have not provided any kind of module parameter or anything so we earlier have like two instances so if we refresh so you can see now as we have not provided the time zone but we have defined the default time zone so that default time zone is appearing here now if we go back to our module we should be able to see our module parameter so now let's open the hello one first can you see it guys we have provided select time zone and that time zone is appeared here also we have provided some kind of what you see how do you get editor so that user can provide their HTML and that we can use and do certain things we can just directly display we can do some kind of operations to this HTML and display to the front end now your module become dynamic so for this module configurations let's say I have selected this one now if I save these things and if I refresh this module look at it this is appearing from our configurations but this one remains same so this is how we can control the module how this module will function as per the configuration so let me uh, go back to other module and let me switch that time zone this is very powerful actually this parameter things Now here also we can see and now here we will select a different let's say Dhaka and save we can define these things but we are not doing any operations using this test field but you got the idea how you can place different type of module parameter now if I refresh Dhaka. can you see the power of this module parameter so now uh, if you are creating some kind of slider module so you can provide select some images from the back end and they can create different slider using the same module by providing different parameters now what I will do I will do one more thing um, so let's say this is like basic module what if like you want a different section like this that is also possible so let's go quickly add uh, one more section so I will just copy paste these things so I will change these things to uh, um, my custom area now let's copy quickly uh, copy a couple of parameters um, password let's select where is that password here? 
Okay. So first password. So password. Let me copy this line and paste a couple of times. Okay, so now I will change this one to text. This one also text. So this one, let's say host username password. So we are taking like enter. Uh, Server name, username, password. Okay. We can provide some default value, or if you don't want, now we have saved. Now let me uh, create. Uh, oh, let's re increase the version and uh, quickly create. Step. So now we will install these things. So close. Extension. Install. We will drag. Okay, it's installing. Okay, so now if we go ahead and go to the modules, now if I open the hello module, here you can see our new section came but you can see like some different type of text is displaying definitely we will come to these things when we will implement the language things but you know like how you can create a different sections and you can ask different set of parameter and that you can access the same way parameters get using this you will get all the values okay so hopefully like you understood like how to use parameter in your Joomla module and also you understood like this Joomla module parameter how powerful and you can build your module in a different way. So in the next episode we will learn how you can use interact with databases using module, how you can create a table, you can insert data, you can manipulate data from the database. So see you on the next tutorial. Thank you.